Tim Mundorf, Nutrient Management Lead here at Central Valley Ag, here to talk a little bit about organic fertilizers, and in this case, dried poultry litter, an organic fertilizer we're carrying here at CVA. Um, we're doing something a little different here the last couple years. We've been bringing in some dried chicken litter, selling it mainly to organic growers who need a source of nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, some of our micronutrients for organic crops, corn, soybean, but other crops as well. Even have some conventional growers interested in it. Some things that uh, manure brings to the table like biological activity and carbon uh, into the soil where we're replacing some of that carbon that we're pulling out with all of our crops, giving the biology something to eat in that off season, you know, as we put fertilizer down in the fall and in the spring. So most of the time when we think about chicken manure or any type of manure, it's a fairly wet product. It doesn't handle very well. It's not the kind of thing that we really work with here at the cooperative. But in this case, with this product we've got here, it's actually only about 5% moisture. Flows really well, a little dusty. I'm normally going to wear a dust mask when I'm working with it. But the nice thing about it is we can move it through a lot of our spinner applicators and make a nice even application. Normal rates that we're doing out there, anywhere from 500 pounds. Some of the guys that are doing soybeans are doing lighter rates and just putting some nutrients out there for the soybeans. Guys that are making something like this, the main program for the nitrogen in front of their corn crop, probably gonna be more in that one ton rate or even a ton and a half. Got about 50 pounds of uh, nitrogen that's first year available per ton about 120 pounds of nitrogen total per ton. So we add quite a bit of nitrogen to the system. We add about 75 pounds of P2O5, about 60 pounds of K2O. So it's a nice, well-balanced fertilizer product for some of our organic growers. If you're interested in growing organic, CVA actually has a little bit of an organic program now. For the first year this year, we had an organic research site out by Marquette, Nebraska. Haven't harvested that yet, but we will harvest it soon. And then we'll put the research uh, information out, what our yields were, both corn and soybeans, what the different products are that we tried. And one of the products that'll be in those trials is this dried chicken litter. So if you're interested in organic production or you're already an organic producer, and you think that maybe the cooperative doesn't have anything to offer you because of course they sell all the GMO seed and all those uh, chemicals that you're supposed to avoid, we actually are able to help you now. We're trying to bring value to all of our different grower members and now that includes the organic growers as well. If you're a conventional grower and you're interested in kind of a different fertilizer product, more interested in some of the biological activity, some of the carbon something like this could bring to you, instead of having to work with manure coming directly from say a feedlot or a hog building, sometimes those arrangements are difficult to make. We're able to uh, stack this in, in a barn over by David City, Nebraska, and we have about 1,000 to 1,500 ton of it that we're bringing in every year and then reselling it to organic growers or conventional growers when it's a good time of year for them to make the application. So I'm Tim Mundorf, Nutrient Management Lead here at Central Valley Ag. If you're interested in, in any of these type of products, get a hold of your field sales agronomist or get a hold of me. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Agronomy Focus.